Introducing Neighborhood Stories. As you heard in our latest Inside Maxis, we're introducing to the game the first phase of our latest feature, Neighborhood Stories. This feature is about adding flavor and more life to neighborhood sims who live outside your active household. As noted in Nate's blog, today's update will focus on sims that are connected to your households and have relationships of some kind with them. Be careful what you tell them. To start, check out the new socials in the friendly and mean categories, and your sim can try to convince others to make certain life changes and vice versa. Your sim's friends can ask their opinion on pursuing life changes. Two, yes two, new aspiration compliment, the stories you will tell. Be the neighborhood confidant. And if you want all the chism, I mean, if your sims aspire to be a helpful and positive presence in the lives of neighborhood sims, they will be able to learn a new confidant reward trait, which increases the chance of conversations being pleasant and not at all awkward. But if your sims are a bit more deviant, your sims can aspire to be villainous Valentine, who wants to destroy the lives of all sims, including their own. What can I say? We love chaos over here. Sims that walk this deviant path will earn the new Twisted Heart trait, which makes all sad and embarrassed moodlets decay faster and provides a little bonus special or bonus social when performing mean or mischief socials. They will be heartbreakers, dream breakers, and love takers. For more detailed information on neighborhood stories, check out Nate's blog right here. Logitech G Lightsick. If you use Logitech G Lite Sync enabled mice keyboards or headsets on Windows PC, you can now experience The Sims 4 in a more immersive experience. You can enable and disable The Sims 4 lighting scheme in game by going to Game Options, Other, and toggle the Enable Keyboard Dynamic Lighting option. Peripherals with Logitech G Lite Sync technology support these effects. During loading and while on the main menu, your peripherals will light up with spinning plumb bobs whatever the hell that is, they'll reflect the mood of your selected sim. When visiting secret worlds, they'll take on a color scheme inspired by the world itself. Me personally, I never look at my fucking mouse when I'm playing a game, I'm looking at my screen, but you know, that's just me. Last but certainly not least, we took the opportunity to add likes and dislikes for cottagecore in the music category and for cross-stitching and knitting in the activity section. These were a bit overdue, but I'm glad we were able to add them for this update. Well, not me. I'm just narrating the patch notes. We also took the opportunity to update the trait icon for Erratic to something more fitting to the trait. I say that because sometimes people address me directly and ask me why I didn't fix a certain thing, and it's like I'm not part of the dev team. And finally, we've added in build mode the through the looking glass window, which was seen in some of the industrial loft kit promotional art. You can find it in the window sort in the base game window options. We hope that you enjoy these additions and changes. Now to the bug fixes. <clears throat> and here we go. Is your game filling with empty households? We made a fix to clear the empty households when loading the game. Your manicure should stand out in a good way. It's a part of your ensemble and can complement an outfit, adding personality and finishing the look. But what if it's not a perfect complement? Is that your manicure kind of became part of your outfit, as in literally part of it, drawing a line across it, so we made a fix for that. This fix is across multiple create a seam assets across the base game and packs. You are the handiest sim ever known to sims, so much so that you can upgrade toilets to add an H2O siphoner outside the area where the toilet is. Like with your mind, no longer. As such, we like things to be fixed magically. This particular upgrade will require your sim to be in direct contact with the toilet. Yes, physically. Speaking of handiness, have your sims ever tried repairing their shower tub combos or bathtubs but kind of not been able to get to them? Well, that should be resolved, as we also fixed this same error when sims tried to perform the water recycler and add H20 siphoner upgrades. Sims love baking cakes, and they love baking and decorating them together with other Sims in a group. They didn't love that. They could not add toppers or candles to them, though. But they can now. So, have your Sims bake a cake to top it off and eat it, too. 
Ever had a friend who said they liked something, but really they didn't and their face showed it? We felt the same with Sims, that even though they liked things they had, the dislike thought bubbles. So we made some adjustments and now their thoughts match a bit better with their feelings into what they say they like or dislike. Honesty is the best policy. Getting to know someone can be challenging, especially for people like me, an introvert, and even more so when getting to know someone who doesn't reveal their traits. No worries, we have made a fix so that your sims are not in that awkward position any longer. That's actually a really interesting one. Noticed some sims doing more than the aha uh -huh, or eureka animations while not being in a scientist career? With this update, the aha moment doesn't happen as frequently if your sims are not in the scientist career. They will still do it due to environment score, but not as frequently. Though in all honesty, if a sim has an epiphany of some kind, shouldn't they exclaim Eureka? Let's discuss. Ghosts can now eat ambrosia and become regular sims again. Isn't this the plot of a movie about a friendly ghost? Sounds familiar. Perfectionist sims will now save their paintings in their inventory instead of starting over even after completing a perfect painting. Maybe they're worth striving for perfection too hard? I like knowing tiny bits and facts about the people I know and I like. But getting like and dislike messages about sims and households I am not playing is not my cup of tea. I mean cute, but not the time. This issue should be resolved, and you will see these messages only of households you are currently in control of. Get together, the ghost sledding club activity icon has been added. Eco lifestyle? So you got the hang of vertical gardening, perfect for small spaces. You have several AOK -okay bloomer vertical planters. You've started to sing to your plants, cared for them appropriately, talked to them, and you decide to grow cruelty-free meat, but realized you couldn't harvest it. Well, we reviewed our planters and sang a few songs to them. And now you should be able to harvest cruelty-free meat from vertical planters. The fabricated floor light, the round bottom one, is now available to be fabricated. Cottage living. Being helpful in your community is good, and if you are a hen fort on Bagley, even better. No idea what that means, but okay. Sims that offer a helping hand and are meddling and peddling can now see and perform the encourage to flirt with interaction. Encourage away, but don't forget to tell me all about it. Are you going to the Finch Winch Fair? Crops, llamas, cows, and chickens, sims that submit high-value items to the fair will now have a better chance at winning first place. Remember me, the one in fin Finch Winch Fair? It was once a true love of mine. Living in a simple living challenge can be rewarding, except when you can't eat your onigiri, seaweed ramen, and avocado maki rolls. Mmm, those are good. Our designers decided that seaweed shouldn't be a secret ingredient, so now you can make these dishes when living a simpler living. Spa day. Does your sim desire to be a self-care specialist, but they're having trouble managing to keep regular clients so they never achieve this goal? It should be resolved now, so go get it, get it, get it. Realm of Magic. Here we are, born to be sims. They are the royalty of the universe. They are immortal. Your sims have inside the immortality potion. They have no rival. No other sim can be their equal. Now that potion works. Dream Home Decorator. We adjusted the pay for interior designers in their higher levels. I personally did not see an issue with this. Interior designers need to get their coin. But we recognize that may be a bit too much compared to other levels in the same career path. And just when you thought Kleptomaniac Sims had their match, alas, they really had to go for that kid's tent. What can you do? We fixed the issue. That on attempt to swipe the tent would not disappear from the lot and not be in the Sims inventory, in any inventory. So with this fix, you will see your swiped tents in the household inventory. Nifty knitting. Sims with autonomy on will now be able to knit when they're not having fun. Yeah, because knitting is so much fun. Actually, it could be because, anyways, that's what my microphone cover is from. Actually, it's from crocheting, but let's not talk the differences between that. Sims just want to have fun. And that's what Cindy Lopper said. Bust the dust. Those adorable but filthy dust bunnies were at it again. Maids didn't have the heart to bust the dust completely. We told them it was okay to do so. And no real bunnies are being harmed. Just the dusty ones. 
and now they should be busting the dust entirely. That's it. That's the patch notes. As always, if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm and making me a little bit more relevant in search results when people are looking shit up. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. I'll put you in a wrist lock. And uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, naturally that would be great. But if not, well, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care and perhaps I shall see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.